Good morning. It's Monday, March 18th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Stubborn and Rebellious Meets Immovable and Faithful. And our scripture is Exodus chapter 33. The Lord said to Moses, Get going, you and the people you brought up from the land of Egypt. Go up to the land I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I told them, I will give this land to your descendants, and I will send an angel before you to drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Go up to this land that flows with milk and honey. But I will not travel among you, for you are a stubborn and rebellious people. If I did, I would surely destroy you along the way. When the people heard these stern words, they went into mourning and stopped wearing their jewelry and fine clothes. For the Lord had told Moses to tell them, You are a stubborn and rebellious people. If I were to travel with you for even a moment, I would destroy you. Remove your jewelry and fine clothes while I decide what to do with you. So from the time they left Mount Sinai, the Israelites wore no more jewelry or fine clothes. It was a simple thing. The zipper on my jacket wouldn't cooperate, and I was late for the school bus that would take me to my first grade class. Mom started to help me zip up, and I yanked the zipper out of her hand. No, said the brat with all his superior six-year-old wisdom. I'll do it. It's almost like there's a merit badge for always being self-sufficient and claiming to have accomplished life all by yourself. It's like that with politics and family and relationships and matters of faith. We seem to learn the hard way, proving there are much fewer geniuses than we imagined. Israel was helpless, enslaved for 400 years in Egypt. God sent Moses to announce the captivity was at an end. Pharaoh eventually capitulated and let the people go. Slaves became free, and they imagined that meant they were in charge of the universe. (laughs) But that was a cardinal error. The brat nation had much to learn. Stubborn and rebellious Israel had met immovable and faithful God. There's that old saying, what happens when an irresistible force meets an immovable object? Well, the problem with applying that to our relationship with God is there's nothing that's irresistible when compared with immovable God. It's much more that we, the created beings of God's hands, are fragile. We're housed in temporary bodies with imperfect and limited knowledge. When it comes to a contest with humans versus Yahweh, we are more like the local nursing home residents' football team going up against the New England Patriots in a not-so-Super Bowl. It won't be pretty. God, in his infinite wisdom, kept a safe distance for Israel from Israel. They needed that space to find out just how dependent they were on God. Rebelliousness and stubborn ways need to experience stubbing toes and falling down. It's how we learn to walk. People who have suffered a stroke or been in a coma learn this lesson in a heartbeat. When they wake up, they realize there are things that must be learned all over again. Simple things like how to pick up a ball or say a simple word that they'd used a million times. It is this way with the stubborn rebelliousness with which we convince ourselves we can make it just fine without our Creator. Baby steps all over again. For you today, if you want a tested, reliable, immovable, and faithful path to spiritual liberty and life, let Scripture have the last word today and every day. Hebrews chapter 3. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all that belongs to Christ. Remember what it says, Today, when you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts as Israel did when they rebelled. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.